You bring your chicks home and there they are, those cute little fuzzy butts, and then all of a sudden, you see it. Oh no, what is that? The dreaded pasty butt. Come on, I'll show you what to do. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're still doing Chick Week here over at Yogi Hollow Farm. And today I wanna to talk to you about a condition that often happens with chicks and that's pasty butt. And why am I bringing it up? Because believe it or not, it's not talked about enough for newbie chicken owners or newbie chick owners, I should say. I found out about it because someone told me about it and then I researched the heck out of it. But it's not something that comes up automatically, so I wanted to share some information here with you. What is pasty butt? Well, Number one, it can be fatal. So let's keep that in mind. So it's real important that you watch your chicks for this and you stay on top of it. And it goes away. It's just usually up to the first two weeks or so. Um, it can happen after, and sometimes that can be a sign that there are some other health issues going on. Other times it just kind of happens, but usually the first two weeks and after that, you're in the clear. So what is pasty butt? Pasty butt is a buildup of poop on their bum. You know, their vent is at the back end of them and that's where they lay eggs from, that's where they poop from, and that is where you're gonna see pasty butt. What you're gonna see is a buildup of poop either on the vent or below the vent. So you wanna be really careful about this so let me show you what a clean bum looks like, and then I'll show you what a pasty butt looks like. Okay, so this right here, and in the center of that black fur is a vent. And you can see the vent when she peeps, and that vent is clean. There is no poop stuck to it. And I now have my covers over the brooder. Um, so what are the causes of pasty butt? Well, stress is the most common. Uh, temperature being too hot or too cold, which causes stress on them. It can also be you just received your order of baby chicks from the hatchery and they're sent to you before they start eating food. And then when they come home, they're eating food. So it can be that as well. So let's talk about what a chick with pasty butt will look like. And I'm gonna show you a pic that I have here. It's not uh, an extensive case or a severe case, but it will give you an idea. And then we're gonna talk about how to treat it. Here is the beginning of pasty butt on one chick and on another chick. And you can see that instead of the fluff, that's what they have. So how do we treat pasty butt? You take a small container and you fill it with warm water and then you're going to take a cotton ball and you're going to have that here as well now i don't have a chick with pasty butt but i'm going to just give you an example of how to handle it i'm going to dip it in the water depending on how severe the case of pasty butt is if it's really severe i'm going to kind of hold it over the water and not squeeze the cotton ball out because I want that water to penetrate the poop so it softens. Do not pull the poop. I'm gonna keep doing that, keep soaking it and looking at it and seeing if it's soaking up and so on. If you pull on it too prematurely, you can tear the vent or the skin off of the chick. So this is something you have to be very patient with. And we just keep doing that and then taking the cotton ball and slowly trying to work the poop off. And it takes a little while, but then you're all good to go. When you're done, you're gonna take a towel and dry them off as best you can gently. And then you're going to, if you prefer, you can take a little bit of Vaseline on a Q-tip and just do the vent area, Remo like move the down and do just their vent area or you can leave it and just keep an eye on them. But then take the chick and put them right back under the heat source. I like to keep them cupped in my hand so that way they're warm. Sometimes you can wrap them in a towel, 
but it's just really, really important to make sure that you are gentle and you take your time with it because you can hurt them, you can kill them. So be really, really careful. Our tendency is to wanna to pick and pull. No, you have to just be patient, let it soak, and it'll start to remove on its own. One of the best ways to avoid some severe cases is to check your chicks daily uh, for at least the first two weeks and to make sure that you're not having a case that is progressing so quickly. All right, guys, so there's our Chick Week video on Pasty Butt. We're gonna have more coming. And thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Take care.